was with him every day. Everything was lost in the fire that erupted on Saturday, but none of the family's possessions mattered compared to the loss of Loki. Just a spunky little funky boy. He's definitely one of the greatest little helpers you could ever have if you were working on something. Amid the chaos trying to put the fire out and calling for help, the parents tell me Loki ran back inside to try and save the family's six-month-old puppy. There's actually prints on the carpet of where she laid beside him. To try to save him from the fire. They basically tried to save each other. Loki was Wilson's first baby and says she remembers the last thing they did before the fire. I played with chickens <laughs> and he raked leaves. It's one of the last things he didn't even, he was just barely learning how to talk. The 23 month old had eight other brothers and sisters, some who witnessed the painful night. They're taking it too hard right now. They're blaming themselves for a lot of it. Um, they haven't been in school or any of that. They can't even go. Um, his little sister, she's not even a year old yet. She doesn't even sleep through the night anymore. She wakes up having night terrors and screaming and crying for her brother. Right now, the family is staying with relatives near where the fire happened. Both Deshay and Curtis say they can't look at their home without breaking down. I want to burn it to the ground, honestly, because every time I look at it, it's all it reminds me of. The inside is completely gone. The outside structure is, I mean, it stands. <clears throat> That's about it. The inside's a complete loss. The parents have this message for everyone who has children of their own. Cherish your kids. You never know when they'll be gone. Never take it for granted. Right now, the fire is still under investigation, but the family tells me it was, ele it was an electrical fire. They also tell me Loki would have been two on January 3rd. Live in Gentry, covering news where you live, Allie Lynch, 5 News.